Hello everyone, so I just had the chance to compare the mobile fidelity records with uh, the this one is epic and this one is uh, Russian Melodia nothing nothing fancy nothing spectacular and uh, it uh, it was quite uh, unsurprising to hear that uh, these records the mobile fidelity they really sound like they they originate from a digital source the jackson thriller is uh, is a bit less uh, apparent from that perspective it it uh, it has uh, quite a wide and uh, deep and forward sound stage which where the instruments are rather well placed but it still has this uh, digital signature where it's apparent that it's the sound is a bit compressed artificial while the original record the analog it sounds uh, much more eerie liquid uh, fluid i don't know all those words where you can uh, describe natural sound uh, with dire straits record uh, it's even more apparent that this one is very it, it originates from a digital source this uh, russian um, edition is actually not so anything spectacular it's very mediocre record but it wins wins both in in the spaciousness uh, in the in the way uh, it sounds much more organic and the most apparent thing is that this one it's very flat like if you're listening this one to this one the mobile fidelity record um, the bases there the mid-range the highs although the highs are uh, a bit more grainy than the the analog record but um, it's apparent that this record it's it just gives you a wall of sound like there's no there's no 3D space like there's no depth there's no the sound doesn't extend beyond the speakers into the sides and uh, it's it's funny that this record which is like worth maybe 5 euros maybe less um, it, it sounds much better than this one which is actually uh, a 45 rpm version it's a two record set it's double so uh, that's that's probably it for this time nothing nothing magical nothing new probably uh, and um, let's uh, see what what the future holds for us